Hello everyone, I'm Riti Kauri from Management Bliss. In this video, we will see how to create filters by label. And if you want to know more about filters, so you can see one of my videos. I have pasted the link in the description as well. You can go through and learn what are filters in a very simple way. You can understand what are filters. Let me also tell you in just one line that filters are nothing but just a saved search. That is, let's say, many people are doing searches for particular or same issues again and again so what we do is we just save that search and call it a filter okay now coming back to the agenda we are in one of our projects backlog and if i want to create a filter what i have to do is i have to click this filters drop down on the top of my screen and here I will do view all filters. It shows me a list of all the different filters which have already been created. But what I want to do now is create one of my filter. Uh, I have got a window, a search window now where I can write my own query. And if I want to do switch to basic, I can go there. Here also we can create a particular filter based on the already provided criteria by default we do not have the criteria specific to label so what we'll do is we'll go back to switch to jquil and here we will write down our own jquil which will help us create a filter by label so let's say i'm looking for issues which have a label associated with them that is module one now what i'll do is i'll just write down labels equals to module one here in the quotes you can write down your own label that particular label for which you are searching for a filter and then perform a search we can see the count over here it's giving me all the issues coming from different projects but let's say if you want all the different issues from a particular project and have this label attached to them then what you have to do is just write down and and provide the name of the project okay again perform the search as we can see the count has changed over here because now we have the issues coming from a single project that is clinical management now the filter has been created but what we have to do is we would like to save it so that we can use it again. So what I'll do is I'll just click on save as and give it a name label module one filter submit. So this filter has been created for us now and we can use it, but it is created as a private filter. If we want others as well, to see this filter or to take the benefit of this filter then what we have to do is either we can share it that is we can provide the link of this filter to the users we can add the name or email addresses of the users and those particular users would be able to view that filter apart from that what also we can do is we can make this filter available to public so again i will go to filters i will do view all filters and now we can see that a row has appeared on this list with our new filter if we see it's a private filter let's change its settings let's make it a public one click on these three dots go to edit and here is an option for us that we can provide who all can view this filter and who all can edit this filter with these permissions we can manage our filters so let's say i want everyone in my organization to view this filter therefore i have selected my organization over here do not forget to click on this add button okay now let's select whom i want to edit the filter I want people from this particular project to edit this filter then I can select this combination that is the project and the name of the project and different roles we can select over here and then again we have to click the add button and just do a save 
as we can see the viewers and editors value has been updated in this row so similarly we can create more filters and let's open this filter once again this particular issue we can see that it has two labels associated with it one is bdd feature and one is module one so what i wanted to show is that issues containing this particular label and other labels as well will be shown as a filter search result as we can see it's really easy to create filters by label so that was all in this video i hope you like the video do write to me in the comment section share this video please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed already and thank you so very much for watching